Hey guys, guess what today is? Today is braces off day. I'm literally gonna, I'm so excited I'm 10 minutes early. I just realized that. But do you know what the problem with um, editing videos is? I'm not that you guys even have this problem. When I'm editing videos, <laughs> sometimes I go back through the emotions of those videos and I just edited the video of finding out that someone is gonna fly us to my sister's wedding. See, and Marty like getting emotional again. And then finding out that I was gonna get my braces off. <laughs> and now today is that day. I'm literally like editing that video. And I'm like, no, I can't cry again. And then I'm excited because I get to actually go and get my braces off. I, I can't even go. I'm literally 10 minutes early. I'm gonna be like 15 minutes early to the appointment. There's no point in going right now. But um, anyway, got the kids off to school. I woke up at like, before my older girls even went to school, it was super annoying. Anyway, I was super annoyed. I ended up just sitting on the couch for like 20 minutes and Ashley came down and snuggled up with me and that was kind of fun. She has a really cute outfit on I meant to show you. She kind of found a bag of clothes that we had set aside from Chelsea when she was younger and now Ashley gets to wear them and so she was excited to kind of wear new clothes and I'm so grateful she's that, she's that child because I have so many more clothes for her to wear that Chelsea probably never even wore including the outfit she's wearing today and so she, I'll try and catch her when she gets home from school because it's a super cute outfit um should be a little bit more in shambles by the time she gets home but anyway I'm really excited to get these ah, I'm so excited to get these braces off um, Jason, when he sees me tonight, they're going to be off and the kids and I'm super excited. I've got to go ahead and make a dentist appointment probably to go and get them cleaned. I just don't think I'll be able to do that before we go to this wedding. So my week is slowly like filling up. Yesterday when I sat down to work at the computer after I took the kids out for the day, I, you know, I was kind of going through my to-do list and, um, starting to edit and calendar the week and go through emails, kind of do all that kind of stuff. I got a call from the referral doctor, a podiatrist, the urgent care doctor referred us to, to have Abby's toenail removed, not the actual whole nail, just that ingrown toe nail. Um, they actually called me. I've never, never, ever, ever had a doctor referral call me. I've always had to be the one to be proactive and call and schedule an appointment and make sure they take my insurance and like that whole shebang. And they called me and they were like, oh, we totally cover your insurance. That's why we were given the referral. And we're excited to get you in and we can have you come in on Thursday. It's, it was Monday that they called me. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You called me and you have an appointment same week? <laughs> I was blown away. It was like, Wow, and I even told her, I was like, way to do business, my friend. Way to do business. Because whether I need any more foot problem care from you or not, like, you know, right now I'm like totally sold on it. So I've got that appointment now. Abby has a choir concert and Jason and I have back-to-back -back lunch dates. He's going with a guy friend and I'm going with my girlfriends. And um, just like things are just stacking up, and I'm realizing I'm getting closer and closer to having to, you know, to go and travel and I'm running out of time and I don't think I'll be able to go to the dentist as much as I want to. I can try and call. Maybe they have something next week. I can go and get a cleaning done maybe right before we leave and then come back and get some extra stuff done. I, Jason kind of, we talked about me getting my teeth whitened. I just need to talk to my dentist. I have to pay for out-of-pocket dental care. I don't have dental insurance. It's just, Jason used to have dental insurance and he ended up paying 90%, which I don't know what the point of, I'm, I'm digressing. I don't know what the point of paying for a premium on a monthly basis and then still having to pay 90% of the bill. I don't know what the point of that is. So you're better off paying 100% and no premium, <laughs> honestly. So I am killing time. I have like four minutes, but I'm not gonna babble to you guys before I go, oh, Jason got me new shoes. I've been wanting some like, not tennis shoes, I don't know. I didn't know how to explain it to him other than like, not quite like Converse or Vans, 
because I want him to be a little bit more mature, I guess. I don't know, but let me show you what he brought home and tell me what you guys think. I think I'm gonna wear him around the house and then to this appointment, because it literally is like one little teeny tiny sidewalk um, going inside, then I can not get them dirty. Tell me what you guys think of these ones. Here they are, they're gray. And I kind of like, I got these are the pants that I got yesterday. They're called jean joggers. So they are super comfy. But they don't go quite down to my, you know, they don't quite cover my ankle, which I kind of like. And then he got me high tops. They're kind of like, not quite high tops, but they're definitely above my ankle. And then they zip up so it's easy to get them on and off. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like them? They're really comfy. Their dance goes. So I know that my feet are going to like them. And I can get um, extra room across my top of my arch always gets really tight and tender if the shoe doesn't fit just right and then I have a really wide toe box so it's a really good thing I own we own a shoe store because my feet are a little picky and I think I can go now and I don't know if I want my coat I went out in my, with my coat today and I was like dying of heat and here's my sweatshirt you see me in this sweatshirt all the time and it kind of changes and rotates but I don't wear it all the time. During the day, I literally just probably wear like these cozy sweatshirts when I run out like this. Okay. All right, you guys. Next time you see me, I won't have any braces on. And I feel like my bottom lip has accounted for this wire right here. See how my lip kind of goes down? So I'm kind of hoping I can retrain my lips. <laughs> To not do that I really like compensate so that my lip doesn't catch on that wire I've heard that happens to people and it takes them a couple months to retrain their mouth to not compensate for the braces so anyway braces they're off you guys it feels so good so you can see the slight gap Right across here, a little there, right there. It totally is fine because when I smile, I'm never gonna like completely close my mouth, so it's not a big deal. So I did um, film a little bit while I was in there while they were um, putting the little wires on. I have one on the bottom and one across the top inside. So I filmed a little bit of that, and then he <laughs> he knew that I wanted to film taking them off. So I just had to use my, my phone. If I had had another, the other technician that I had last week, she would have grabbed my vlogging camera and I wouldn't have felt like insecure about doing it, but I just used my phone. But you don't need like volume and stuff on this one. So I did film a little bit of it. It's kind of gross, but um, getting that moment of taking the brackets off is pretty cool. They do the um, wire before the brackets come off because they use the brackets to kind of secure the wire on. But anyway, I am like, it's it's still really weird. And it feels like I still have gook on my teeth because the wires, I'm not used to like feeling that on the backside. I've already brushed my teeth twice. <laughs> He's like, you're probably gonna wanna brush them like five times a day now. But, uh, I and I do need to go to the dentist, but they look a lot better than I thought they would. So if you're an adult or a kid getting braces, brush your teeth. Because I don't have like any of those little, you know, decay marks around the bracket so that's kind of nice and I come back in I don't even know what time it is let's see what time it is um this person can't park here sorry this person just pulled ahead of me and they can't park here um and they just blocked me in uh so I have to come back in like two hours to get my retainer they did the whole mold set makes me gag I literally like I probably have tear marks I was like shedding tears and the guy was like are you okay I feel bad for making you cry but I warned him ahead of time I was like I will cry I will gag I will like beg you to take it out but don't take it out just leave it in and um, now the guy's like driving backwards down the hill <laughs> anyway uh, I just have a horrible gag reflex if I think about brushing my teeth I will gag so um, it's just a thing. So they're gonna make the retainer here in the next two hours and then I'll go back and get that and then I'm all set and I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do with the rest of my day. I literally like only had a focus to do this. So 
I don't even know. I mean, I, I need to eat. And it'll be really nice to eat without braces on. So what do I get? I don't even know. And my teeth are sensitive. It's kind of like, and he's, yeah, he said don't eat anything like sticky or hard today because the wire glue still has to kind of set. It, it's on there, but he said if I crunch down on something, it's definitely gonna break for like another 24 hours or so. Anyway, I'm so excited. So if you're thinking about getting braces, especially as an adult, go for it. I It's been almost three years. We were thinking about it last night. Ashley was three years old, or almost four, when I got my braces on. Half of her life I've had my braces on. Isn't that insane? It went a little bit longer than I thought I was gonna have them on. Um, and especially over the last couple months. We really obviously didn't need to do the last couple months. I could have had them off, but you know, hindsight is, you know, what it is. So I'm excited. I'm gonna go get some lunch and figure out what to do for two hours and then I'll come back and get the retainer. And anyway, the girls tonight have, um, I think they said they're playing TP dodgeball, toilet paper dodgeball, which I think sounds fun. In the summertime, that would be fun if it was wet. <laughs> I think that would be funny if you got like wet the whole roll of toilet paper and then threw it at each other. That would be awesome. So anyway, I have to take them to their activity tonight. Um, so we have to have dinner early and I have to think about what dinner is. This is all I've had on my mind today. So now I gotta come back into like mom mode and go through the rest of my day. All right, well, I'm either in the orthodontist office or I'm in my car today. I only had an hour and a half at home. And would you believe that I have my retainer in? Can you even tell? I can tell. I feel like I'm gonna have a slight lisp. It's one of the clear ones. And uh, I have a really high gag reflex, so every time I think about it being in, I kinda gag. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll get used to it, I know I will. But I'm really glad that I got the clear one. It's just a little tray. Oh, see? <laughs> Um, anyway, it's just like one of the little Invisalign trays that kind of pops up in there, but it's really tight and I actually kind of panicked when I was in the office because they wanted me to, you know, show that I could take it out. And it's tight because it's going on for the first time and, and really needing to like kind of truly mold to my teeth. But um, I was kind of panicked because, and again, my eyes water when I panic and get hot. And <laughs> Anyway, there's like home, homeless people here on this off ramp. Um, and so I kind of panicked and I couldn't get it out and she's like, do you have fingernails? And I'm like, no, I don't have fingernails. What does that have to do with this? She wanted to kind of have me pry it from the inside and kind of pull it down. But anyway, I got it out. I hate when homeless people walk toward your car. Do you guys hate that? It's really making me nervous. I'm going to put the camera down. I don't want him to see my camera. I don't like that when they do this. This is Kaylee's reaction to me getting my braces off. <laughs> You're not very happy about it, are you? Mm -hmm. Do they look good though? Yeah. Are you jealous? <laughs> oh, it looks so different. And doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I even have my retainer in. The clear one? Yeah. Can you even tell? Yeah, I can I tell. I mean, you can kind of see it. It's just shiny. Yeah. But it looks good, huh? Mm-hmm. Such a diligent student. What are you doing, math? Geometry? Uh, I don't know. You don't know what it is? <laughs> I have no idea. You don't? Oh, I mean, you're. Anyway. Do you want a better light on? No, I don't care. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? Do you like it? <laughs> that is new. Wow. It yeah? Like you have, like, those now you I do. I, I do. I have a tray uh, in. Now you have, like, this line. Do you like it? Yeah. Wow. You don't like it? Oh, I'm tired. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Assembly and we had to sit for like ever. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> but we got the offer. the offer. Oh, yeah, you did? What offer? Suzanne's. I don't know. I oh, forgot the last I'm glad it was so effective. So memorable. Let's go home. Do you want to know something kind of awful? <laughs> My kids are going to watch this later and they're going to be like, I can't believe you said that. Tuesday nights, my kids go to the church and they have their activities. Three of them go, and then the other two, and then Ashley's here with me. On the nights where I don't have to take them, we kind of carpool and go with other people who are already going down to the church, because it's 15 minutes away. 
And so, on the nights where I don't actually have to take them, Ashley's already in the shower. They've all eaten dinner. They actually all made their own dinner. They made pasta for themselves. Because I happened to be on the call with my sister, my twin sister. And, um, which she actually <laughs> thought I was still planning on sending. Oh, the stupid fruit flies. This applesauce has been out for 10 minutes. Literally, just saw a fruit fly on it. They, so they made their own pasta for dinner while I was on the phone. But my twin sister, that's what I was gonna say. My twin sister thought that I was still gonna send Kaylee on a flight by herself. I don't know if I ever talked about that on here. Um, initially I was gonna send her um, late the night before the wedding instead of having to have her miss an extra day of high school. I didn't love her enough to spend $350 on a plane ticket because um, there's a $150 fee to send her without an adult. So, didn't do it. But on the nights where everyone goes to the church, Jason heads straight to the church because he has to teach his own little 11 year old scouts. I'm gonna put Ashley to bed here, read her 20, a story for about 20 minutes or so, and then I have a quiet house. I don't have any responsibilities. I've been editing a video and I'm gonna take a shower and they look really white <laughs> right here in this light. Or they look really yellow. They don't look white. Um, I, just, I forget sometimes that they're all clean. I mean, they're all braceless. Anyway, I kind of secretly like these nights because I get to just have a quiet house. Like for an hour and a half before everyone kind of comes home and interrupts it all. So I'm going to shower after Ashley gets out of the bath into bed. I might show you Jason's reaction to my braceless face, <laughs> I guess. I tried to FaceTime him today so he could see it right after I got done with the orthodontist, but he was busy and then I was busy when he tried to call me and so he has not seen it yet. The only other people who have seen it are two people at the bus stop who didn't notice. <laughs> so I don't know when they're gonna notice. And then I have done Marco Polo with two of my sisters. So anyway, kind of fun to have them done. And I have my retainer in here because I just ate dinner and got to put my retainer back on. I feel like a teenager again having to wear a retainer. But it is like, I mean, I'll show it to you. It's not gross because it's not dirty, but it's like plastic, you know. It's like an Invisalign tray type of thing. So it's less invasive, I guess you could say. So anyway, let's go see if Ashley's done in the shower and get her to bed. Plus, let me show you really quick. She, We got down the bucket of clothes. Oh, there she is. She's in a towel though, so I can't show her. So Ashley found this bag I got down the other day when I was trying to find something. These are all pajamas. <laughs> All of that is pajamas and socks. So this is all the stuff handed down from Chelsea that I was telling you about the other day. These are all pants and shirts. And then really quick, we need to hurry and wear Halloween and Halloween colors. Literally, like I only have one orange because again, I don't like orange. <laughs> so we got to hurry and wear these two shirts while it's still Halloween season and then it's pajama day at school tomorrow so I thought I would pull a pair of pajamas out that Chelsea probably hardly ever even wore no she never so we'll just have Ashley wear these I'm kind of worried that actually might be too big for her pajamas do run small in Jimboree sizes so we'll see if it fits so these ones did not the pants didn't fit I think the shirt would have been fine but we found these ones in her regular bucket and we haven't worn those ones in a while and then, who has kids that who get in the shower and don't wash their hair? <laughs> Come here. At this point, it doesn't really matter. She actually has hair that doesn't need to be washed every day, or even like every couple days. But we do need to take out your little braid. Or do you want to leave it in and have curly hair again? One part of my hair is going to curly and then the other is going to be straight. Yeah, but it's kind of cute. It kind of lays across the top like it did last time. Or do you want to take the braid out? Um, keep it in. Keep it in? Yeah. All right. Let's go read a book.
Hurry, we're losing all of our alone time. Okay, Chelsea, you brought home a pumpkin from your activity? Yeah. Should we show everyone? It's a little bit dark outside. I know, we're gonna go light your pumpkin, okay? That's my pumpkin. That's your pumpkin? Yeah. He doesn't have a head? No. Where's the top? Oh, well that's the top. This is the <laughs> this is... You even saw him coming out. I you did. <laughs> no, so, no, he just like pushed me a little. Okay. okay. So here's the mustache. I had to add. Is this little... from Monsters, Inc.? Uh -huh. He looks like the Monsters, Inc. guy. With the one eye. Oh, yeah. But oh. I put a mustache on. <laughs> well, it's okay. Okay, let's light it and go to bed. Say goodnight to everyone. Good night. Okay, say goodnight, Chelsea.